Hey, what's going on guys? Mookie back here again, and welcome back to more Fellowship of the Ring. Now, I took a small break there um, from YouTube, uh, about a month I'd say, which I didn't expect to be gone that long. I just sort of needed a little break, but I'm back now, and I'm I'm thinking I'm going to take YouTube a bit more seriously. I want to sort of get into this, you know, do things a bit more professional, have a, get a better setup going, and pump out more videos, and just generally try and take it like a bit more seriously, like I said. But uh, back to Fellowship of the Ring. In part one, I did a really in-depth sort of tour of Hobbiton back there. And I basically showed you every every nook and cranny that there was to see back there. So, what we're doing now is we're, we're going to follow this path up, and this leads to Bywater. So I'm going to be doing sort of the same things that I did there. I'm going to try and show you as much as I can. And give you a whole tour of the area. So, like I said, this is Bywater. And there's some mushrooms here next to this bench. I'll get these. And then... Uh, here we are, we go through this little archway, and this is like another section, obviously, of the Shire. We've got our hobbit holes here. Let's see what's at this one. Ponto Baggins, so another Baggins lives here. Um, but you can see, this place is fairly big. It's bigger, I'd say it's around the same size as the area down there, I would say. Let me get these mushrooms, and I'll talk to this person. How do I even talk to people? Oh, see, I've been away for so long, I forgot how to use the controls. Let's see. Control settings. If it doesn't freeze up. Okay. Um, I'm looking for the... Oh, is it enter? That would make sense. No, it's not. Jesus Christ. Just trying to find out how to talk to someone. There's going to be like an action key. Um, attract spell. You know what? Maybe I've got to be actually facing the person. That could be. Hello, Frodo. There Hello, we go. Angelica. We shall miss you terribly, Frodo. Indeed. You're going ever such a long way away. Practically to the other end of the world. Just the other end of the Shire. It's so far to travel. I hope you can return to Hobbiton one day. So do I. Goodbye, Frodo. Goodbye, Angelica. Jesus, that voice. Sounds like she's got the hearts for Frodo. Same Hello, place. Frodo. Hello, Angelica. I guess not, so let's move on. And we've got another Hobbit hole here. Who looks at this one? Destroys flowers. Okay, this is the, the Bunces. I don't think there's anything around here. I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't, you can't go further than that, okay. I just I just thought I'd try it anyway. Anyway, let's see who's in this one. I know you can go inside the green dragon here. This guy's got some pumpkins. This is the good bodies. I remember the first fish I caught here with Bilbo. <laughs> okay, I wasn't actually expecting that dialogue to appear. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Anyway, see? Exploring around, you can sort of find things like that. God knows what that is. Um, what is this building? This is huge. The Ivy Bush Inn. You can't go in here, it looks like. Yeah, you can't go in that one. So there's actually two pubs here. Because that's the Green Dragon. And what is this one? Will I see another springtime festival around this maypole? No, no you won't. Anyway, as I was doing, who lives in this one? Old Nopes. Got a bird on his, on his little plants. Who are you? I'm not Ooh. half a brandy buck like you, and that's a fact. That's a bit rude. You might have cowed my parents, old boy, but not me. Not Lotho Sackville Baggins. Let me give you some advice, Frodo. Don't cross the Sackville Bagginses. I'll be master of Baggins one day, and a lot more besides. I've heard tell you're going away to live in Buckland again. You've taken leave of your senses at last, just like Bilbo. Jesus, rude. Bucklanders are strange folk, living right next to the old forest. Oh, it's a wicked place, and it makes those hobbits strange indeed. Then we shall see, dear Frodo. We'll see who's the master, and who's humbled. We like things orderly here in the Shire, but you have dangerous friends from outside. This guy's got a lot to say. He's known all over the Shire as Mad Baggins, 
That's embarrassing to our side of the family. It'll take a long time to restore respectability to the name Baggins. My mother says your Uncle Bilbo embarrassed the whole Baggins family by going off on mad adventures. I hope you have more Hobbit sense than Bilbo, dear Frodo. Well, if it isn't the Mr. Frodo half a Baggins himself, out for a stroll amongst the common folk. Uh, you never belonged here in Hobbiton, Frodo. You and your mad Uncle Bilbo. Does it just keep going and going? Too good for the likes of us he is. Well, I'm a real Baggins. A full Baggins. Why, if it were up to me, I would keep out the kind of scoundrels you consort with. Out for good! If you're wise, you'll stay away from the old forest and them that go into it. Does he ever run out of things to say? Too he's... good for the likes of us, he is. Well, I'm a real Baggins. A full Baggins. Okay, he's already said that before, so I think I think we're running out now. My mother says your Uncle Bilbo yeah, okay. embarrassed the whole Baggins family by going off on mad adventures. I think we've heard all he's got to say. Now, there's this little bell here, which I think I need to ring it at some point, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and see what this guy's up to. Hello, young Baggins. Cheers on your birthday. Thank you kindly, Daddy Twofoot. I haven't seen your wizard friend about lately. I do miss those fireworks. So do I. I remember the day when all those dwarves came to call on Mr. Bilbo. Dwarves and a wizard. Life is quieter now. I don't know about quieter. You hear such strange stories these days. Long dead bearer whites waking near the old forest. Great armies in the east and south, dwarves and big people fleeing, elves traveling west and never coming back. Ah, but I'm chattering on. Safe travel to you. Keep away from those tree men I've heard tell of. And don't you wander onto those barrow downs. You and Sam be careful out on that road, Frodo. Buckland is too close to the old forest for comfort. Keep away from those tree men I've heard okay, tell of. Said that. And don't you wander onto those barrow downs. Well, at least he's a bit more friendlier than that other guy. Now this is the green dragon, so let's head inside here. Okay, so that actually crashed my computer completely, and I've had to restart it, and I've come back in. And it actually worked that time, so I'm not sure what the deal was there. But um, we're inside the green dragon here. And I guess this is the mayor, this is Robin, I think. Let's see. Hello, Frodo. Have time to enjoy a mug with me? Hello, Sheriff. Just saying goodbye. Off on adventures? What? Adventures? I don't have adventures. <laughs> Why not? All the great dragons in hiding from the fearsome Bagginses. <laughs> don't worry, Frodo. It's just my little joke. Everyone knows you're a respectable hobbit. Unlike your Uncle Bilbo, bless him. Of course. Well, goodbye, Robin. Yep, Robin, I was right. Nothing I like more than a mug or two while making my sheriff rounds and hearing the latest gossip. Nothing I- Okay, that's all he has to say. I always like to double check there. Um, I think this is Sam's... Sam's gaffer, as he calls him. Hello there, Master Gamgee. Well, hello, young Frodo. I hope my boy Sam does well tending your garden out there in Crick Hollow. Well, if he slackens, you be sure to send word to me. Your son's a very good worker, Master Gamgee. He's not but a ninny hammer. But you're kindly to take the lad with you. Do be careful out there on the road. I've heard tell of strange doings. Hungry wolves have been seen in the South Farthing. Or so I heard from Hugo Bracegiddle at the Ivy Bush Inn. Wolves? In the Shire? Well, that's what I says to him. Wolves? In the Shire? My old dad told me those tales when I was but a lad. I never thought I'd see such times. I hope the wolves will leave as quickly as they came. Goodbye, Master Gamgee. Let the wolves howl all they want, so long as they leave my taters alone. There have not been wolves since the fell winter, when the brandy wine froze over and white wolves came down out of the north. Let the wolves howl all they have not. Okay, that's all he's got to say. And now this is Marion Pippin over here. I think I'll talk to her Rosie first, I guess. Hello there, Rosie. And hello to you, Frodo Baggins. I wish you fair weather for your journey. Um, where's Samwise? I'll catch up with him before I set out. You will return from time to time, won't you, Frodo? I surely hope so. Well, perhaps you can teach that Samwise some manners. What's he done? Nothing I've caught him at, but 
He's likely one of those pranksters that have been ringing the Bywater warning bell with stones. If we ever need to ring the bell, Sheriff Robin may ignore it, thinking it's a child's prank. I'm sure Sam would never do that. Perhaps. Well, return as often as you can. You will return from time to time, won't you, Frodo? I surely hope so. Okay, now let's talk to Mary and Pippin over here. Hello, Frodo. What took you so long? Did that sluggard Sam Gamgee forget to tell you that we'd be here? Never mind Sam. What brings you two scoundrels all the way to Bywater? Breakfast, though. We're up to lunch now. Pull up a chair. You came all this way just for breakfast? Can't tell. It's a conspiracy. Don't tell him. Oh, too late. Our conspiracy is unmasked. May as well tell him everything now. Since you'll be walking past old Maggot's farm, we thought we'd have a go at his garden again. Three is company. Just like old times. Remember those mushrooms? I remember his ferocious dogs. I believe Frodo's afraid. Are you afraid, Pippin? I'm never afraid, Mary. Those dogs are all bark. And no bite. Old Maggot threatened to show me their bite. Only because he caught you. Well, just be careful this time. Remember the smell of those mushrooms cooking? I do love mushrooms. Then it's settled. We'll meet you at Maggot's farm. Hey, Mary. I hear tell that Sam Gamgee is sweet on rosy cotton. Not Sam. He only loves his taters. Hey, Mary. Not Sam. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the green dragon. Then we can head out now. And uh, before I go and speak to Lobelia, I think there's another... Yeah, there, there is there's another little side quest down here that I want to do. Let's just go, because Lobelia's right here. I think if you, if you ring this now, he gets annoyed at you. Now, what's going on? I don't hold with reckless bell ringing. Oh, if any wolves approach the Shire, the Bounders will chase them off. Just as they chase away foxes and such. I'm glad the Shire is well protected. Now, if that's all, I've got a mug to return to in the Green Dragon. I think that's all he said if you do this. Now, what's going on? I oh, I'm glad the sh now yeah. if okay. And um, see, there's Lobelia, but I think if you start this, if you finish the quest off now, you can't do this little I'll side quest. I'll miss the quest. next farmer's market. This square will be brimming over with the freshest crops. So I want to make sure I get that done. Who lives here? Is he gonna tell me? Tolman Cotton. Okay. Um, so I don't think there's anything down here. I think this is just like a dead end. You see the back of Lobelia's house, but there's not much there. Yeah, it's just a dead end. Okay. So let's head this way, because there, I think there, there's a guy sat on a bench down here, if I'm not mistaken. But that was pretty much a bywater, that's all there is to see there. It's not... There's not as much going on as Hobbiton, but... Wilman... Wilcom Cotton. So there's two cottons there that live together. But uh, yeah, that was bywater, so let's head on down here. Let's see if we can find this guy that was talking about. All those birds are everywhere. I think he's, I think he's just around the corner. If I'm not, if I'm remembering right, it has been a little while since I did this actual quest. Because this is one that you don't have to do. You can always miss this one if you don't, if you don't want to do it. But yeah, there he is. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, Noakes. Good to see you up and about again. I thank you. I'm fit as a horse again. Folks will be calling me well preserved, like they do your uncle Bilbo. Bless him. Glad to hear it. Why, it's this new herbal tea I've been drinking. Good. Well, I'm off to... My old bones ain't stiff and sore. And that's a fact. It's a wonder. That must be very special tea. And now I have to... Not special at all. The herbs grow wild in the Northlands. Parsley, pine needles, and king's foil. I had four bundles of herbs. Until that Sancho Proudfoot took them... Scattered them all about. Perhaps I can help. Found any of those herbs yet? Okay, so I've got to go find these herbs that that guy that was running around Hobbiton sprinkled about. Which I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find them all. I don't know if there's anything up here. It's just these llamas. They don't really do much. You can hit them with a stick, though. Not that it does much, but... Okay, I, I think most of the herbs are down this way. I've got an idea of where at least two are. At least a vague idea anyway, but we, we shall see. They're, they're not too hard to find. Okay, Green Hill Country. Okay, so this is another place from Lord of the Rings online. So there's one. Here's one of those packets of herbs Noak spoke of. And of course we've got to go and hit this duck. Mushroom, okay, and then we can head on. Was another duck. Animal cruelty. I don't don't condone that. Obviously, 
<laughs> but um, who's this guy? Hello there. Good day, lad. You're a Baggins, ain't you? Bilbo? Frodo. Frodo Baggins. Living that grand place atop the hill. Bilbo's place. How have you been, Bilbo? Frodo. Frodo, right. Well, not time to chat. I'm off to Bray on an errand for Ted Sanderman to get parts for the mill. Haven't you heard? The mill is running again. What luck? Did Sanderman fix it? I found the pin. So I've you to thank. And thank you, I do. Happy to help. Well, I best be getting back to the mill, Bilbo. Sanderman will want me working, not strolling around in the countryside. Well, I best be getting back to the mill. Okay, enough of you. Yeah, I think this one that has up here. This is the one that I remembered. Or maybe not. Okay, I was completely wrong. For some reason I thought there was a herb up there. See, I didn't remember the one there that's by that pond, so that's, I guess, a good thing that I found one of the missing ones. I want to say there's one in this river somewhere. I want to say there's like one hid around here. I'm not seeing right now. Or maybe I'm thinking that one of them was like around here. Nope. Oh, what was that? There's something in this log. And there we go, okay. So there's two. Nothing else up there. I swear there's one in the river. Maybe it's around the bridge, that makes sense. No, nope, it's not under the bridge. Okay. Jeez, look at that. That's odd. It's like he's on drugs. What the hell? Anyway. Oh, here's the farm. Oh, don't tell me I've got to go in here. you got to avoid the guard dogs with this. Hold on, let's see. I wonder what broke this fence. Oh, good God. Well, I can't get in that way, so I'm going to have to actually go through here. Oh, it's broken fence. Ha! You'll get this hurt. Oh, God. Grip! Fang! Wolf! What's all this racket? That would be me, sir. Well, well. We have a burglar in the fields. Burglar? All done with your mushroom thieving? Or would you prefer to take it up with the lads? No. I, I mean... Right you are, sir. Now off with you, or I'll have the lads dispose of you proper. Well, I think I got the herb, which is the main thing. Let's double check that. I'm sure I got it. Yes, I did. Okay. Now, I guarantee the other one's going to be probably in there, but I'm not seeing it. See, I don't think I can go out this... Look at that! That's so weird! I still have things to attend to before I set out for the old forest. Yeah, I can't go down there. Okay, so... Wait a minute, what was that? Yep, of course, the other one's in there. Okay, shift is to sneak, so I should be able to... Should be able to sneak and get this one. See what we can do. God, I hate these, like, sneaking missions. And of course, the dog's right there where the, um... Where the damn leaf is. If I, th if I throw a stone right over there. Feel free to go look at it, dog. Yeah. Is he gonna go? Yeah. Go! Look over there. Oh, that good would God. be me, sir. Where what a pain. Or... No. Okay, be quiet. Let me get this. Oh, and of course he's right there now. God, this is a pain. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. He's far. He's far away. Got him. I got it. Now I don't even care. He can catch me if he wants. 
but if I can get away, that's even better. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of tricky, but I got there in the end. I only got caught twice. Now I can rush back. Get this mushroom out of here. Because they will come in handy sometime down the line. Phew. I actually f completely forgot about that part of the game. I, knew, I, I remember the dogs, but I don't remember that there was a, a fern in there that I had to actually get. So, uh, yeah, that was a new one on me. But at least we got that done. I just hate the sneaking parts, and there's quite a few of them in this game. Especially with the ring race, which I'll be coming up on. I played my share of pranks when I was Sancho's age, but I never took an old man's medicine. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, especially the ring race, which is coming up in the next part, so that's going to be freaking interesting, that's for sure. Let's go give this give this guy's friends back and see if we get a reward or something. I can't actually remember about that, but I'm sure he gives us something. Hello, young Baggins. I have found these herbs for you. Thank you, young Frodo Baggins, for bringing me these herbs. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. What's he giving us? Oh, of course, he gave us mushrooms. Good day, young Baggins. Now, I know your buckling relatives fool about with boats, but you keep off them. Good day. Okay, so now, now we can go back to Obelia. Give her the key to Bag End, and um, I'll probably end this part off here because the next part is where things sort of get dark with the ring wraiths. So that should be freaking interesting. Um, yeah, I'll give you a good tour of the Shire anyway. I mean, this is the only time you really have to sort of explore. What's around here? I don't think there's anything around here. I can't even get around there. But I, I give you a really in depth core of Hobbiton and Bywater. So there's not much more to show, so let's go over to Lobelia. Hello, Lobelia. Where's the sheriff? Where's that lazy Robin Smallbro? I couldn't say. Now about Bag End. Never you mind all that. There are wolves in the Shire. I'm sure the sheriff is keeping everyone safe. How could he? I haven't told him about the wolves yet. Go away, Frodo. I need the sheriff. Just ring the warning bell. If he's anywhere in Bywater, he'll come running. Don't just hang about then. Ring the warning bell. No time for chattering, boy. Get that bell ringing. No t Okay, let's go ring the bell. There. I've rung the warning bell. Now what's going on? I don't hold with reckless bell ringing. I rang the bell. Lobelia wants you to know there are wolves in the Shire. Huh. <laughs> Is that all? I've heard that rumor, but I reckon no one's seen these wolves. Not even Lobelia. Oh. If any wolves approach the Shire, the Bounders will chase them off. Just as they chase away foxes and such. I'm glad the Shire is well protected. Now if that's all, I've got a mug to return to in the Green Dragon. There, I rang the bell. Are you happy now? Well, someone finally came to his senses and rang that bell. Now we'll have safety and order in the Shire. I do hope so. Now then. What did you want to speak to me about? Make it snappy, I have a lot of things to tend to. It's about Bag End. You said you wanted to buy it. What? But I thought you were lying, you deceitful boy. I believe that when I have the deed in my hand. Did you bring it? Here's the deed to Bag End. Oh, I can scarcely believe it. The deed to Bag End? I shall need to remove a few belongings. I'll leave the Bag End key with Master Ganji of Number 3 Bagshot Row, if you don't mind. What? Ganji? That dirty potato grubber and his son might plunder all of Bag End in the dead of night. Good day, Lobelia. Yes, yes, a very good day indeed. My sweet little Lothar will be so happy. Bag End at last. Oh, why you consort with that kind, I'll never know, Frodo. Having farmers and dwarves and wizards for company, and never inviting your own flesh and blood to tea. Honestly. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's another thing out of the way. Why did it say I hadn't rang the bell? That's kind of odd. Get the one. Okay, I've got to go back to Bag End now and get the one ring. Now, I don't think. I don't think that guy says anything else. I forgot his name, Wolf, though, is it? I don't even know where he is. He just wandered off. Is that him there? I think it is, actually. Well, well. Mother tells me you came to your senses and sold Bag End to us. 
It's about time you recognized us as your betters. There will be first-class hobbits in Bag End now, and not the sort of dwarves and wizards that you and Bilbo seem to favor. The see to it that you're out of Bag End by the agreed-upon date. I'd hate to have the sheriff drag you in chains from your beloved home. Oh, that is my beloved home. Bag End will see a better sort of hobbits now, I can tell you. Well, well. There was okay. Bag End. He did say something different. Now I've got to go back to Bag End. I'll probably end the video off here once I get back to Hobbiton because I'll be moving on to the next stage of the game. Obviously, once you get the ring, and once you get the ring and you head back out, it turns to night and this ring race around, which is another sneaking quest, which is a whole lot of fun. But, um, yeah, so I'll end this part off here, guys. We got a lot done. I gave you a quick tour of Bywater. We've already toured all this. So. I wonder if Ted's animal is something different now. Told his guy to come back. I sent my man to Bree for that part. Or for not. Well, curse the luck. No, he does not. So, um. Yeah, that's that. And so I'll end the part off here, guys. And uh, when we come back, we'll be venturing out in the night and uh, encountering some ring race, which is a lot of fun. But, um. It's very hard. <laughs> I, I did actually do it once. Um, when I, I was when I reinstalled this game again for the first time in a long time, I, tr I attempted that and I actually got it first time. So hopefully we don't have too much trouble with it. But uh, that's gonna be it for this guy. So until next time, see ya.